Okay, we're here with Tanya. Tanya, uh, you've been we've known each other for a couple of years now, right? Yep. Uh, tell us about your migraine headaches you had when you first came in to see us. So my, um, you know, original reason for coming in here was because uh, I had struggled with migraines my entire life as a kid. Uh, I had done everything that you you do when you go through traditional medicine, uh, neurologist, giving myself shots, all kinds of preventative medicine, in and out of ER, uh, basically my entire life. And the last migraine that I had was pretty uh, debilitating, and so, um, f you know, pretty fed up with the fact that I didn't have any answers from like the traditional medical community. I started to look into more functional medicine, and sort of that's what, you know, led me to you. Okay. And then um, we, we identified some underlying problems, food sensitivities, you had a genetic mutation and that you weren't able to make certain neurotransmitters in the brain. How are your headaches today compared to when we first started? How has it changed your life? Uh, drastically, it changed my life. So uh, for the first, you know, I'm 41 years old and for, you know, January, it'll be two years that I've had a single uh, headache, not a single dull headache, definitely not a migraine. Um, and for me, that's a huge accomplishment. And, and you shared with that with me earlier today because you're coming in today. We're checking on your thyroid. Yeah, we're but checking I, on I have, all kinds of other things. I, know, right? I, I forgot. I, it's been two years. It'll be two years in January. Headache free. Single headache, none. Yeah. Wow, wow. Yeah. And then you feel like we got to the underlying causes, and you know how to prevent that from. We did, and and that was really exciting for me because we did a bunch of tests to get to the root cause. For me, I think it ended up being more of a food thing, which mm -hmm. I would have never thought in my life that food was a trigger for my uh, headaches, but for me it was. Right. And once I started to uncover that, uh, it led to a whole bunch of other issues I realized. Then I think, um, you know, we learned that I had Hashimoto's and a whole host of other things, uh, which we've been working on. Um, yeah. But that was really the, you know, the what reason for me here. coming right. in. Okay, great. Thank you. You're welcome.